I've got loads of tanks to paint, so I'm going to show you my speed painting formula. So for this guy, I'm going to give him a standard camouflage look, a bit like that, although I'm going to use a slightly different colour scheme. You can do camouflage in loads of different ways. I'm using a black primer to start with, so I'm going to be giving quite a dark camouflage. If you're wanting green, browns and yellow type camouflage, then I'll probably base it in a green. I'll do the turret and the body separately, and all I need to do is mark out the areas that I want to be camouflaged. And to do that, I'm using this cheapo bucket of kids' slime. Sort of thing you can pick up from Home Bargains, B&M, Pound Shop. It's cheap, something I don't mind throwing away, and it's really malleable. So all I'm going to do is use this to apportion up the area that I want to have a different colour. So you can design this completely randomly, do it all over the tank, and then once you're done, you give it a spray of a different colour, and the previous colour stays underneath there, which is black in my case. And this is the final result of that sculpting. And it, you see, it is just pretty random. So all I'm going to do now is give it a spray over with a different colour. So you can use a rattle can. In my case, I'm going to use Dark Reaper in an airbrush. But it's essentially the same if you've got the right colours. So as I said, you can do this just with a normal rattle can. I am going to use an airbrush. Just because the Dark Reaper is a particular layer colour that you can't get in a can. Not really worried about the barrel because that will come to that later. And the main tank. With that first layer done, you just need to let it dry and don't take off any of these splodges. As if you want more than two colours in your camouflage, if you're going browns, yellows, greens, then you want to put more splodges over the top of what you've already got here, leaving the existing ones and then spray it again. This is dry, and while for my colour scheme I've only done two colours, you could have very easily done three by adding a second layer of the blobs and then spraying it. And actually the spraying is probably easier from a rattle can than it is from an airbrush. And then you get the fun of revealing what you've managed to achieve. And with slightly different colours, it's probably more dramatic than the two colours that I've chosen. And here's the camouflage so far. Now I'm going to do some dry brushing. Right, I've dabbed most of the paint off on this and I'm just going to dry brush against these tracks. Bring them back to a silver. So then with the tracks done, I'm going to do all the guns dry brushed. And then we're going to quite lightly do some of this metal on the top of it, the unit. And that's the dry brushing done. So now I'm going to do some muzzle effect on the guns. For this process we're going to start off with some null null. All the guns have null null on. Now it's time to add some drooky violet just to the end of each of the weapons. And then the final step on the muzzle is to use Draconoff Nightshade or Bazilka Standard Grey as I've got here just to touch up the very end. And your speed painting tank is essentially done. Uh, now I like to go one step further on this and to do some white highlights which I'll show next as well. But if you've already got three colours into the camouflage you might not need that but because I've got two I like to have that. Also, if the barrel's long enough, I like to tape some off and put a little white stripe on there, so I'll show that as well. So I've masked off part of the barrel. You could paint it, you could dry brush it. I'm going to airbrush it just because it's a lot quicker. And then what I like to do is put a little, few little extra highlights just on there. Just to try and break up the monotony of the dark colours. Same on here. It's almost like my third colour. And that's the end of the tank speed painting. I hope you thought this was interesting and a nice idea. Let me know if you think this is an okay addition to the channel. Otherwise, thanks very much. See you again soon. Bye.